I became interested in butterflies during the first lockdown in 2020. Well, many of us engaged with nature during that time. I would spend a long time taking pictures during my daily walks and this passion brought a lot of peace and clarity in my thoughts during a very chaotic time in our lives. Today, I would like to discuss my reflections on the fascinating world of these beautiful creatures, butterflies, and five important lessons I learned about mental well-being from these powerful symbols of transformation and growth. Would you agree that butterflies are incredibly beautiful creatures? They come in all shapes and sizes with wings covered in intricate patterns and colors. But did you know that butterflies also go through a remarkable transformation process that we call metamorphosis? The caterpillar is the first stage of a butterfly's life. It spends its time eating and growing until it reaches a certain size and then it stops eating. It then forms a cocoon around itself and undergoes a miraculous transformation. After a few days or weeks, the butterfly emerges from the cocoon with its beautiful wings fully formed. Now this transformation is truly amazing and it got me thinking that just like the butterflies, we all need to go through periods of transformation in our lives. We face challenges, setbacks or difficult times that force us to change or adapt. We can emerge from these challenges stronger and more resilient than ever before. So, the first key lesson is the power of perseverance and resilience. The process of metamorphosis that butterflies undergo is not an easy one. It takes time, effort and energy to transform from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Similarly, in our own lives, we are bound to face adversity or challenges that require us to be resilient and persevere through difficult times. You know that I describe the concept of the mind lens as the prism through which we view the world. The curvatures of the mind lens are our core beliefs developed through our experiences. The mind lens gets tinted by our emotions and scratched by our traumas. We all have to undergo our own journey of metamorphosis and understanding the mind lens allows us to develop the resilience just like the butterflies have. So please watch my video on the mind lens if you haven't already done so. The second lesson we can learn from the transformation of butterflies is the importance of patience and trust in the process. Just like the butterfly must trust the natural process of metamorphosis, we too must trust the natural flow of our lives. This can be challenging at times, especially when we are facing uncertainty or change. But by practicing patience, mindfulness and trusting the process, we can find greater peace and acceptance in our lives. Just like the butterflies, if we need to hibernate from too much overwhelm, that is fine too, as long as we remain connected to our trusted and close ones. Thirdly, the transformation of butterflies also reminds us of the importance of letting go of the old and embracing the new. Just as the caterpillar must shed its old skin and form in order to become a butterfly, we too must be prepared to review our old patterns, beliefs and habits in order to grow and transform. Now, this can be difficult and even uncomfortable at times, but it is essential to our personal growth and development. Coming back to the concept of the mind lens, once we understand the curvatures or the meaning of our core beliefs, we do understand our reactions to experiences and therefore feel more able to embrace change. Now, this can be scary and uncomfortable, but it can also be incredibly liberating and empowering. By embracing change and stepping out of our comfort zone, we can discover new strengths and abilities we never knew we had. When we embark on this journey, we become adaptable in our approach to life. Just like butterflies, we are able to adapt to different environments and climates. Just like some species even are able to migrate long distances to find more suitable habitats in our own lives. When we face unexpected changes or challenges, being adaptable and flexible helps navigate these situations successfully. Can you guess the fourth lesson? What do you see? Okay, let me give you a clue. It is about self-compassion and self-care. Camouflage is a fascinating aspect of butterflies. 
Many butterflies have evolved to have intricate patterns and colors on their wings that allow them to blend in with their surroundings and avoid predators. Well, what has that got to do with self-compassion and self-care? Camouflage is a form of self-preservation and protection. Being compassionate towards ourselves is also about self-protection. When we understand our mind lens, we learn to recognize situations or people that may be harmful to our mental or physical well-being. We also take steps to protect ourselves and avoid harm. At the same time, the camouflage of butterflies reminds us of the importance of diversity and individuality. Each butterfly has its own unique pattern and coloring, and this diversity allows them to thrive in different environments and habitats. Similarly, when we embrace our own uniqueness and differences and recognize that diversity is essential to health and well-being of our communities and society as a whole, we value ourselves better. Just like butterflies need to take care of their wings and their bodies, we need to take care of our own mental and physical well-being. This can include daily routines like getting enough sleep, eating healthy food, and taking time for relaxation and self-care. Exercise is also an important part of self-care. By moving our bodies, we can release tension and stress and boost our mood and energy levels. And just like butterflies, we can soar to new heights when we take care of ourselves. So, finally, the fifth lesson I learned from butterflies is the importance of interconnectedness and interdependence. Butterflies are an important part of any ecosystem and they play a crucial role in pollination and helping to maintain the balance of nature. Similarly, we are all connected and interdependent in various ways. We can learn to appreciate and support the interconnectedness of our communities and our own ecosystems that bring balance and harmony to our lives. We too must strive for balance and harmony in order to maintain our mental well-being. This means finding a healthy balance between work and play, rest and activity, and taking care of our physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. It also means recognizing the interconnectedness of our lives and the impact of our choices and actions on the world around us. So if you have enjoyed today's video where we learned about transformation through perseverance, adaptability, self-compassion, valuing self, and the importance of interconnectedness, balance, and harmony, let's engage in this exercise today. Write one life activity where you believe you need to get balance. Now this could include your sleeping habits, socializing, eating, exercise, work-life balance. It could be literally anything. Now write what needs to change to bring this balance into your, your habit. What steps do you need to take? How do you break these steps down? Also identify what are the barriers. Set dates against small changes and get started. Watch my next video here and if you want to learn more on how to live a more fulfilled life, subscribe to my channel here. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell it, tell it to all the people you know. Thank you for celebrating and persevering and preserving the beauty of nature.